you don't want a like hot breath, okay, when you're trying to give rapport. Like sometimes I might just need to step away, read a little bit of scripture, regroup myself, fix the attitude, fix the face. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. So if you're new, welcome. First, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So I'm here today because I want to share with you guys what I take with me to work in my work book bag. Oh my god, it's so heavy. So yes, I want to share with you guys what I take with me to work. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a what's in my work book bag video. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what I take with me to work on a daily basis as a nurse in the Air Force, then keep watching. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys what I take with me to work every day. I have a simple black book bag that I carry with me to work. It looks just like this. I purchased this from TJ Maxx. So this is a book bag that I carry with me first and foremost, because in uniform we can't carry anything that's highly adorned with like crazy embellishments and things like that. And because I take a lot of things with me, a book bag works better for me to just put on my back and go versus like a black tote. So I carry a book bag with me. So I'm gonna go through and just share with you guys what I take with me to work and then talk to you guys about some of the products and why I take them with me to work. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna start off on these outside pockets here. So this is the book bag in general, just to give you guys an overview of the size. It has two outside pockets here. So I always take this water bottle with me. For whatever reason, I just always gravitate to this particular water bottle. It keeps my water cold literally for over 12 hours. Um, and it's like a challenge for me, the number of times that I refill this water bottle. And it just tells me that I'm drinking water very often. So this is the water bottle. It's just pink with like these little silver designs on there. So I always take this with me and then it just sticks down on the outside. So I'm going to go into this first pocket here. So I always have um, a highlighter, of course, because I'm highlighting important things on my nursing report. Of course, a standard black pen. I have tons of pens, but these are the ones that were just in my book bag. And then another pen of a different color, because this is what I go through and make updates on, on my report sheet. So those are in there. And then I also have little quick reference cards that I just made myself. I printed out some very common drugs and I glued the papers to the front and back and then I laminated those. So I always have this with me and then I always keep this little pouch with me so I can keep my certifications together. Um, so I have my BLS, ACLS, my trauma nursing core certification and my PAL certification. So I always keep these with me just so I can have them in case I need to pull them out for whatever reason. So I always keep them in this little pouch and then keep them with me since it's work related. Okay, so then we're gonna go into this bigger section down here and I'm going to open this up and show you guys everything that I have inside. So the first thing I wanna show you guys that I have in there is called gloves in a bottle. So I keep gloves in a bottle with me because this is not your typical hand cream. You guys know as healthcare providers, we're always using like hand sanitizers, you know, wipes, we're wiping down computers, desks, all that kind of stuff. We're always using gloves. So my hands are always coming in contact with things that will make my hands dry. They make your hands dry. So I use gloves in a bottle. This is a shielding lotion. So it moisturizes your hands, but it also creates like a protective barrier that will keep things from drying out your hands. So I don't know if you guys have used things like O'Keeffe's for working hands. It's similar to that concept. However, this is much better than that. 
So this has like a shielding effect that will keep like toxins and things that will strip away the natural uh, moisture from your hands. Like I said, that causes your hands to get dry and cracked. Your cuticles get cracked. And then that causes like your skin to break down. And then that's when you notice, oh, when you use the hand sanitizer, like your hands are burning. And I really like this because I have um, like eczema and dry skin and things like that. So this is dermatologist recommended. Um, and it's also hypoallergenic and it's really good for dry or irritated skin. Um, and then of course, like I said, for frequent hand washing. So yeah, it's like a shielding lotion and I highly recommend you guys check this out. I'll leave it linked below if you've never tried it or if you're interested in something like this. Trust me guys, it will keep your hands moisturized. So that's in there. I always keep a little pack of like candy or like mints or whatever just so I can have something because you guys, you don't want like hot breath, okay, when you're trying to give report. So always keep like mints or like little candies. I have my Donna blue light filter glasses. I talked about these in my Amazon favorites. I will link that video because I told you guys along with the seat cushion, I use these glasses all the time at work when I'm staring at computer screens. So I keep them in the hard shell case and I keep them in my book bag. I keep a bottle of Excedrin for migraine because I told you guys I do have migraines and at work it's not a place where you want to have a migraine because then you're like, don't talk to me. And you just can't have that kind of attitude. So I always keep Excedrin for migraine with me. I have the Bible because you just never know. Like sometimes I might just need to step away read a little bit of scripture, regroup myself, fix the attitude, fix the face, and then come back and feel refreshed and rejuvenated, soul replenished, okay? So I have the Bible with me. And then I also have one more larger size quick drug reference card. I always find these to be super handy. I know there's some that you can purchase that you can leave like on your badge. I don't have one of those, um, so I just have these. Like this can fit in my ABU pants pocket or even like scrub pockets or whatever. So just um, a list of very commonly used ICU drugs. You know, we got your Levofed on here. We got your Esmolol, your Dobutamine. I mean, we got your Vasopressin. We got your drips, drips for days, okay? So yeah, and these cards are very easy to make too or like find online, print them out, make sure, you know, you verify that it's current and up to date, but this one is good, so I keep this with me. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the inside. I'm sure you guys are wondering what in the world does she take inside the book bag? It's always what's inside that matters. So, first and foremost, I have my stethoscope, because are you really nursing without your stethoscope? So it's protected in this hard shell case, which I purchased from Amazon. I will make sure to link it down below. So inside, I just have my Litman. This is the Classic 2, which I've had since nursing school. So standard stethoscope protected in this case. I have a notebook. This is just a simple spiral notebook. It says live your dreams, just so I can take, you know, quick notes, write down anything that I need. Just honestly, you know, you never know when you need a notebook. I have my iPad because I have, you know, time when things are slow or patients are sleeping or break time or whatever and this is where I'm reading up on book this is where I'm reading my ebooks for class or checking out you know grades that I've posted re you know responding to emails just I bring my iPad because it's super versatile so I keep my iPad in here and along with my iPad I have accessories so I have this so I have this marble pouch and inside I just keep um so inside I just keep a cell phone charger, my Apple Pencil. I have alcohol wipes, which I use to, you know, wipe off my phone screen, my iPad screen, just various things. There is a little hook inside here that I also use to hook my AirPods to. So if I want to listen to something, you know, on break, I just connect my AirPods to my iPad with the Bluetooth, of course, and this is how I make sure I have my AirPods with me. I have reading material. This is the Nicole Kupchik Ace of CCRN book because your girl is studying for that as well, so I keep this with me. And of course, I have my laptop with me. Now, yes, 
I do bring my laptop from home with me to work. I keep it with me at all times. Um, and why do I do that? So I bring my laptop with me because like I said, if I'm on break and I need to hurry up and pull up my laptop and look at something for school or just, you know, respond to an email and I don't want to use my phone, I like to have my laptop. And as a full-time nurse and a full-time student, I bring my laptop with me to work because I need to stay on top of my assignments. I'm submitting assignments, I'm looking at grades, I'm responding to discussion posts. This is how I stay on top of my schoolwork, also while juggling work. So there's a lot of things that I have to do and I need my laptop with me because using work computers, especially um, grounded on a military network, it's not appropriate. So I definitely bring my laptop with me to work. So yes, so yes guys, I just wanted to share with you what I bring with me to work. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Look down below in the description box for some of these items that I've shared with you. They will be listed down below as long as some other good information as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And then as always, leave me your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Let me know some things that you guys take to work as well. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.